Hey everybody, it's Friday. I hope you're ready for Facebook Friday. Making a few little adjustments there on the camera. Let's see if you guys can find me. Boy, has it been a week around here? <sighs> if my eyes twitching, don't be surprised. It has been an awful week here. Oh, Nancy, hi, how are you? Good to see you. Okay, looks like I'm in the right place. Let's turn it down. All right, let's share. We wanna share in to, do, do, do. Why can't I find it? You know, what's this watch party? You guys see this on Facebook? Start a watch party. I don't know what that is. And I see people doing it and I'm not sure. And why can't I find? where I want to put it. Let's just see, pink buckaroo. Well, that's not what I want. Oh goodness, hello, hello, Connie, you're coming tomorrow, yay, good. Um, I'm excited for tomorrow too, because <laughs> that don't mean we're there and I can stop thinking and worrying and prepping and cutting and sorting. <laughs> <laughs> I am ready. I am ready. Okay, here we go. All right, we want to share this over to why does this have to be so difficult? No, well, maybe I can't share it today. You know, Facebook changes like every five minutes. <laughs> every five minutes. And it doesn't make it easy for those of us that are trying to do what we want to do. Well, hmm. I don't know. I can't really find where I want it to go. So I think I'm just gonna have to give up. Okay, forget it. Hi, everybody. All right, so you saw my pictures last night, probably, right? This week, I have been prepping for um, my retreat to go slash live retreat. Hi, Christy. Yes, you're welcome. I did not want to miss. I designed these projects last week because I knew this week would be crazy, but I had no idea quite how crazy it was going to be. Um, so tomorrow is my just one day retreat, which should be easy, right? Well, it hasn't <laughs> been easy. It has been just kind of calamity after calamity. Um, for one, I was out of town um, all last weekend, came back. Daughter number two was sick with a fever on Monday, run her to the doctor, couldn't really figure out what was wrong. Daughter number three comes down on Wednesday with a fever. Husband leaves town. Isn't that always how it is? Fever, fever, fever. Finally took her this morning. She has the flu. So, yay, the flu. And you know what? All you moms out there, you'll understand this. This morning, she was crying, crying, crying. She wanted to go to school. Today's a, a special day at their school. They have Pioneer Day, and it's a whole day of, like, fun stuff. And she's crying. And she's fifth grade, so it's her last year, right? Crying, crying. And I'm like, oh, you know, you don't want to get other kids sick, blah, blah, blah. And she coughs right into my face with my mouth open. <laughs> <laughs> so guess who's going to have the flu next week? Probably me. Um, but knock on wood, hopefully not. <laughs> hopefully. Her doctor this morning was like, oh my, when I told her that. But anyhow, right now, as of this second, I feel fine. Husband has just come home from out of town and craziness has ensued. So if I don't seem as prepared as I normally am, it's because I'm not. And if I seem a little crazy, it's because I am. And I think my eye is twitching. Anyhow, we have cute projects today and I have lots to share with you. So I'm gonna flip the screen, the, the phone around and we will get started pretty quickly. Yeah, being a mom, <laughs> being a mom and I was not being patient and I was being frustrated and she's oh she's been laying in my bed all day and uh, you know I had to wash my sheets before I went to bed and who you know I didn't even need to do that because she just gave it to me right in the face oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know her doctor said I could call my doctor and get Tamiflu but I don't really have a general physician so I don't know who to call so I guess we just wait. Tick, 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 right? We wait for the, the clock. All right, are we centered? Are we good? Now, rumor has it, and I don't even want to say it out loud, but rumor has it that Facebook's doing weird stuff this week. 
So if it freezes or does whatever, you guys just be patient and come back and I will upload the recording, okay? Because I have a feeling we might be one of those people. Now, I want to talk to you before we move on about the holiday extravaganza. It's a three-day sale. It started Wednesday. It ends tonight. It's really kind of a stock up and save sale, mostly cardstock in ink, but then there's also eight bundles included in the sale. Um, so I went today, I went through and went through all my cardstock to see what I needed in the Regals and the Neutrals, and I ordered several packs because they're discounted quite a bit. And if you're a demonstrator, you get your discount on top of that, which is great because as a demonstrator, you get either a 20 or 25% discount. Um, and so when we have sales, you get an even bigger sale. So just add that one to the, the tally list of why starter buying the starter kit is awesome because you get even a deeper discount on the sales. Anyhow, I'm offering some specials with it. If you place an order by the end of tonight, um, that's $50 or more, I'm gonna, you can pick out a PDF for free. You're gonna get the all-star tutorial bundle for free and you're gonna get today's make and takes for free, okay? And I wanted to just give you guys a little run through. Let's see. Um, so over on the Stampin' Up! store, you click just right there on the holiday extravaganza. And then everything that is on sale is here. And one of the things that I recommend for you guys are these multi-packs of cardstock because you can get a little bit of several colors. Um, that way you can kind of, uh, you know, sample them. And you may not need a whole pack of Blackberry Bliss, but maybe you need, you know, having a couple of sheets on hand would be good. So those multi-packs, let me see where the other ones are. Those are the in colors. The in colors, regals, and neutrals are what in, what are included. So like right here, the neutrals um, multi-pack of, of cardstock, you get two of each of the, I need to turn my fan off, that camera's shaking. You get two each of those uh, colors. So that's really good for just, you know, casual crafters. Um, if you're not a demonstrator teaching classes, you may not need a whole bunch of full packs of each color, but that's a good sampling. So that's $7.65. And then um, there's also the ink bundles. So if you haven't, um, you know, invested yet in the bundles, it's a good time to do that. You could also um, nicely nudge the person who buys your Christmas gift and tell them that, hey, this would make a fantastic Christmas gift and it's on sale and I get freebies if you order it for me. Um, let's see what else. I, I've been showing you the Dino Days bundle is one of my favorites that's on sale. Um, and you can, when you buy that, the free PDF, you could choose, is the, I have a Dino Days PDF, I have the Free as a Bird PDF. You don't have to choose those, but you could choose those to go along with it. Parcels and Petals is fun. I don't have a PDF on that, but that um, that's a, a beautiful set. Um, one of them is already on back order. See, these are all the things that are included. And the Two of Wild Rose, remember I did the mini album on that. So, um, hi Donna, welcome. Good, I'm glad you're here. Hopefully Facebook will behave for us. Um, Two of Wild Rose is a great choice because I also have a PDF for that with that mini album. Um, there was something up here I want to show you. Oh, this one, Band Together Bundle. I believe this one has gone on back order. You can still order it, but it's gone on back order. Just FYI. Now, let's go over and let me show you... Um, on my blog, you may not even know that I have a PDF store. So here's pinkbuckaroo.com and right here, PDF store. If you click that, that's my entire PDF store. Every class I do has a PDF that goes with it. And then they're here for all, for the rest of time, <laughs> basically. And you can always buy them, um, you know, uh, later on if you decide, oh, I, I have that basket bunch, uh, stamps and I'd like to make projects with it. Look, I can buy the PDF. So after the class to go is gone and, you know, over, the PDFs are always available. So they're here and see here's the Bird Ballad class. That's a, a one of the free ones you could choose. Most of them have six projects. Some may have five, some may have more. There are some that I did early on before I really started cranking out PDFs. I was doing one or two PDFs a year, and they would have like 15 projects in them. So those are here too, but they're quite a bit older. Oh, yay, Amazon is here. Charlie is going to come say hello. So just get ready. So anyway, there's the PDF store. Let me show you one more time. Tell your doggies to ignore Charlie. Pinkbuckaroo.com, PDF store right there. All right, and that's how you find them, and then you can pick the free one. So if you put an order in with me for the holiday extravaganza sale today, by the end of the day, or if you did it yesterday or Wednesday, shoot me an email um, and tell me which PDF you want, and I am trying to quickly turn around those pretty quickly. Um, 
and send them to you so that you don't have to wait. Um, but just send me an email, erica at pinkbuckery.com, okay? All right, so there's that, the holiday extravaganza. Thanks for sharing, you guys. All of you who have shared, you're going to be entered into the drawing for prizes. Let's do prizes right now. Last week, I have two winners, two who, people who I think are new to me, Debbie Phil, hopefully I spelled that right, and Cynthia Lynn, you are the winners. You were randomly chosen. Thank you for sharing my Facebook Live video. And if you two will reach out to me, um, send me your address, and I will get these in the mail to you, okay? So thanks. This week, I pulled out two of my favorites out of my prize cabinet, and I have two Buffalo check stamp sets to give away. So if you'll share, I will choose two winners next time. Now, I'm not going to be live next week. I've decided to take Friday off, Thursday and Friday off, um, because I just need a break, honestly, um, and I need to spend some time with my family. This the th first three, four weeks of November, whatever it's been, has been nonstop work for me. So I'm going to take a little break. Hopefully you guys um, will forgive me for not doing Facebook Live next week. And Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, I'll have the flu. So <laughs> so I won't be able to go live then either. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, I'll have the flu. Thursday and Friday, hopefully I'll be better and can spend time with my family or else I'll be recovering. Who knows? All-Star Tutorial Bundle. Um, this is what I do every month. I team up with these 11 awesome Stampin' Up! designers. We each uh, contribute a tutorial. And Kylie and uh, Bruno, they compile them into one large PDF. And we all offer them um, with free with a $50 order in our online store. So here is pretty much your last chance to get this month's. Um, you have, well, you have until November 30th. I guess we still have a whole week of over a week. Gosh, I keep thinking November's over, but no, we have a week and a day left, but I won't be live again to tell you about it, okay? So there's that. Now, if you have never joined me for Facebook Friday before, welcome, welcome. I always choose um, a product, typically one product, and I design three projects with it. This week, it is the um, So Many Stars bundle, and I'm looking, I don't even know where the stamp and the dies are. My goodness, here they are. Um, and I designed three projects with them. This is an awesome one, you guys. I love this. And honestly, I've been really intimidated on doing a Facebook Friday using these because I love them so much. I almost don't want to not come up with something that I absolutely love, if that makes sense. I just, oh, I just love them so much. And these are carrying over. So these will be in the spring. There's a stamp set in the spring catalog that uses these dies. So these are carrying over, but I, but we don't know yet about the stamp set. I kind of feel like it will. But anyways, if you go to pinkbuckaroo.com, you will find, um, oops, my comments weren't scrolling. Sorry if I missed anything. Um, pinkbuckaroo.com, under the last photo, you'll find a link. You'll find this PDF. You can save it and print it, do whatever you want. It has everything that I'm using, as well as the measurements that you need, okay? Now, a few little announcements. Right now, it's kind of quiet. I don't have any open registrations right now, but coming next week, many of you have been asking about Stampin' Bingo. I have it nailed down. I have the dates nailed down. I just have not had 10 minutes to create the registration page. So that will be number one next week as long as I don't have the flu. Um, Stamp and Bingo will be in person in San Antonio on December 29th and my mom's going to host it at her new house. So December 29th and then online it will be December 30th. All those details will come out on Monday, okay? And if you're not on my email list, get on my email list. I'll, I'll link it here um, in the description because I always send these out via email. I, I put it posted on my blog, I send it via email, and then I post it on Facebook. That way if you're registered or signed up for my email um, list, you know you're going to get it in your email box, okay? And you won't miss it because those do have limits, obviously. I have to cap them at a certain limit. And then Rhonda and I do have a class to go coming December 1st. Um, again, that is in the works and that will be announced on December 1st, okay? So those are coming. Whew. Okay, so if you like today's projects and you put in an order using this host code by Monday at midnight, I will send you the make and takes for free. These are last week's. I cut and sort and punch and do whatever needs to be done um, so that you can create the three projects with your whatever I use, whatever bundle, okay? Um, so this was last week's and next week will be the, the So Many Stars bundle. So if you have it, you will want to put in an order so you can get these three projects 
remember, you don't have to order this to get the, the make and takes. Whatever you order, I don't care. You can order all cardstock for the sale. I don't care. As long as it's $35, you'll get the make and takes. But you will need to have the stamps and the dies to make the projects. But some of you may already have it. But you may say, okay, this I've been wanting this. This is my opportunity to get it and get the free make and takes. So you can order that. Throw in some cardstock. We are using some neutral cardstock today, the Night of Navy. Funny, I planned these projects way before I knew what the sale was going to be. And it just so happened that I am using one of the neutrals cardstock almost in every project. Okay, I think we're ready. So we're going to make a box. We're going to make a card. And this card I linked on my blog. There's a poster that I keep seeing an ad for a poster on Pinterest. And you can order these posters to show the night sky on a certain date, kind of like it would be like a wedding present. Like here's what the night sky looked like on the, the day you were married or on the night you were born. But anyway, I loved just the simple, clean design of it. And I said, okay, I can make a card with that. So that is one of our projects. And that's where I got the inspiration for that. And then we're going to make this card. This is my favorite. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? All right. We're going to actually start with that. So let me get these out of the way and grab everything I need. Now, let me move this over here because when I have it on my right side, I don't see what you guys are saying. Hopefully, I haven't missed anything terribly important. Okay, let me get this over here. Now, if you guys haven't done watercoloring before, I highly encourage you to give it a try. Um, we're not, you don't need to be a professional artist to do a watercolor like this. This is just kind of fun and easy. And the more you play around with it, the, the more things will look different, if that makes sense. Um, you'll really find that the way colors move with the amount of water that you use or the color combinations, it's just really, really fun. So that's how I created the background. I'm going to use Night of Navy on sale and Pacific Point um, to make this dark night sky. What I have done is taken one of our pieces of watercolor paper and I've taped it down to just a piece of chipboard and um, I, I'm using painter's tape. Uh, you could also use washi tape too. Um, Debbie, I'm just noticing your comment. She says, I've never done bingo. It's really kind of fun. It's more like a party. We do four projects and we play bingo for Stampin' Up! prizes. So it is fun. Okay, so sorry, tangent. Um, so I've taped that down. The reason I tape it down is because when your paper gets wet, it starts to curl up and it's hard to kind of keep it where you want it. Okay, so that's what I've done, watercolor paper. You can't do this with regular white cardstock. It has to be either watercolor paper or our shimmer white cardstock. Um, the regular white cardstock will kind of pill and just look yucky. So I've dipped that into my Pacific Point um, ink kind of my palette and I've got my aqua painter here filled with water and first I'm just going to give it a water bath get it all wet nice and wet you want it pretty wet like that and then I'm just going to start from the bottom and I'm just going to start dragging the ink up every time I'm going to start at the bottom and go to the top that's going to make the bottom darker and the top lighter. I'm adding lots of layers of color here. And one thing you can do is do it once, set it aside, let it dry. Come back, do it again, set it aside, let it dry. The more you do it, the more intense your colors are gonna be. But for this card, we're just gonna do it once. All right. Now, once you kind of use up all that ink there, on your block keeping it wet every now and then I do kind of squeeze some more water in there because we want it very wet then I'm gonna get let's wipe that off and this time I'm gonna get Knight of Navy oh I probably didn't need to do that much <laughs> and we're gonna do the same thing starting at the bottom because I want the bottom to be really dark okay so I'm just going to do that night of navy not as much as I did the pacific point 
All right, that looks pretty good. I think I'm at a stopping point. Again, you want it to stay wet, nice and puddly, if that's a word. All right, then to clean your aqua painter, just squeeze it a bunch of times out on a paper towel. You can go rinse it in the sink, that helps too. Then before it's dry, grab some salt. And I like the kosher, the chunky salt. All right, and the little salt will actually make it a totally different look. You can play around with whatever salt you have, but I'm gonna sprinkle it like that, and then I'm just gonna set it aside to dry for a while, as much or as little as you'd like, okay? So I've sprinkled it on there. You can see it's a little puddly. If the sun is out outside, go set outside in the sun. It'll be a lot quicker. Now you're gonna set that aside, and when it's dry, you're going to take it and do that, get all that, um, salt off and there you have it now i think what i did here i think i actually did two layers but we're just going to stick with the one layer today all right so now i'm going to peel it off this piece is much bigger than what i need so i don't need to worry about that um you know if the tape rips uh, a little bit of the edge or covers up the edge we're going to cut it down to four by five and a fourth all right, this, you know what, Trisha, this is one of my most favorite techniques too. I love it every single time. It never disappoints. It's always awesome. And it's fun to play around with different salts. I have a new salt in the kitchen. The other night I was noticing that it um, is big chunks of salt. And I thought, ooh, I need to try this one. All right, I'm gonna cut this down to four by five and a fourth and I am using the new Stampin' Trimmer. This is something you need to tell Santa that you want. If you haven't gotten yet, it's great. I really like it. We'll play with it at the retreat this weekend and we'll see how everybody likes it. All right, so five by five and a fourth. All right, now let's move that out of the way. Now I need to get, grab some, well, I don't have any grid paper, so I'm just gonna use this out of the recycle bin. Oh, you know what? No, I'm going to stamp first. Ideally, I would probably flick. We're going to flick. We're going to flick some frost white shimmer paint. Uh, but I would probably do that first. But because of the video and I don't want to have to wait for it to dry, we're going to stamp first. And I'm going to stamp this. Um, hopefully you can see it. Oh, holy night. The stars are bright and shining. I love that. And I put it on my... Um, I put it on my Stamparatus because I was really worried about stamping it crooked. Um, you know, I didn't wanna mess up this beautiful background that I have. So I laid it on there to see how it looked. Um, and you know, with a Stamparatus, then you can just pick it up um, with a plate. So I laid it on there and then I picked it up with a plate and I just left it on there from, um, oh, you know what, I'm doing it upside down. I'm just, leaving on there from the last card that I made. We want, I'm gonna have a lighter part at the bottom, like that. All right, let's ink it up with Night of Navy. Okay, and there it is. If, if you don't feel like it's dark enough because you have your Stamparatus, you can stamp it twice. That does look better, doesn't it? All right, let's take that out. And now we'll flick the, we'll do some flicking. That sounds wrong. That sounds bad. But it's not. <laughs> All right, I'm going to take Frost White. Frost White. And I'm just going to flick. And you really do need to give this some time to dry. But we're not going to. Because of... It's live! It's live TV. Turn it around. Cheryl, what do I need to turn around? What did I not do? What did I mess up? Do I need to turn it around? The Stamparatus? No, you can do it either way if that's what you're asking. You can actually do it however, whichever way feels comfortable. All right, I'm gonna move this and now we're gonna stamp. Oh, I didn't even get the stamp. Oh yes, I did. Huh, look at that. We're gonna stamp this on, and I know I got gold foil. Oh yeah, here it is. I knew I did. We're gonna stamp on gold foil and emboss it with gold embossing powder. It's gorgeous. 
This is the, oh, my hand's already. First project and they're already a mess. This is the Embossing Buddy and the Embossing Buddy is really, I think, quite critical for your embossing because it helps to um, release any of those powders that stick where you don't want them to stick. There we go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You meant my paper. Yes, yes. You know, comments on Facebook are delayed, so I apologize. Yes, you're right. I did, and we both thought of it at the same time, didn't we? Okay, now, gold. Oh, <laughs> my my gold um, embossing powder is contaminated, contaminated with little paper. Look, does y'all get like that where you have, like, random little things in your embossing powder, or is it just me because I'm a mess? I think all of mine are like that. All right, <sighs> looks pretty good. Now I'm gonna get my heat tool. Is that Ange McKay I just saw watching pop on? Maybe she's on silent, I don't know. She's teaching, she's supposed to be, or maybe she's on lunch. All right, so be careful with your heat tool. It will burn you and your paper. I actually, on the last project, I did burn it a little bit, but I didn't have time to fix it. You can do it from the bottom too, but I like to do it from the up here at the top where I can really see what I'm doing. All right, look how that paper curled, that foil. You know what, this is sitting right here waiting for me to put my my palm in. So I'm gonna close these real quick. Now we need those dies. These dies are stitched, you guys. They're fantastic. Um, you gotta find the right one, of course. They're nested like our circles and squares. That's the right one. But they leave a stitch line on the inside of where you die cut and on the outside. So the negative space where you um, will have cut, will have stitching too. So that's a whole nother project. You know, if you cut a star out and it leaves a stitched window, then, you know, you're like, set that aside for the next project. Let's use that. The little one especially is really cute. All right, behave. Little die and gold foil. Mama needs a break today. There we go. <laughs> No, it slid. Oh, it's one of those days. Come on, stay right there. All right, I could use it as a Wonder Woman bracelet. Yes, you're right, Melissa. All right, so look, there's the negative space. So, you know, cutting a circle around that or doing, making it a shaker. I love that. A lot of our dies, our stitched dies, do that. They stitch, um, leave a stitch line on the inside and on the outside. All right, so there we go, we have that. So now all we're gonna do, oh, adhesive, oh, you know, gosh, I'm having major short-term memory today. I can't remember anything. And I just answered a whole bunch of emails before I went live. And I'm not sure if I answered them all correctly. So guys, oh, a little grace today, please. I'm trying my best. All right, let's put some dimensionals and, hey Jennifer, I'm glad you caught me too. Is that a whole set on the magnetic sheet? Yeah, Trisha, it is. It's a big set and it almost doesn't fit. Look at that, gorgeous. Yeah, so it, there's the whole sheet. See how they kind of even stick off a little bit? Um, and I actually have more than one set because I mass produce things, so I buy more than one set. And I was sorting them out yesterday, making sure that I had one set on um, one magnetic sheet. And there's a lot of pieces. And these right here, ta-da, the card is done. <laughs> I moved on too quickly. These right here, actually, when you cut them out, look, they make a star too. I didn't even realize that. I, I thought that I thought that they were just little like, you know, like decorations or something. And I was like, why do we have five of those? Well, it's because they make a star. All right, so there's that. I was thinking maybe they were like to go. I guess you would need five. Who knows? 
sometimes things don't make sense to me. Okay, here we go. Project one, done. And look, this was too wet. See how they're splattering out, but I still like it. And this is when it was super dry. Little dots, big dots. I'll take them both. Very, very fun. You know, that card is really simple. It's got one layer. Well, okay, two layers, but it's gorgeous. I think it makes a beautiful card. And kosher salt, that's what I use. There it is if you guys wanna see it. Coarse kosher salt. All right, next project, we're gonna do a box. Of course, we can't have a Facebook Friday without a box. Let me, and you know what? I, when I planned this, I did it a different way than what I think I might show you, if that's okay. It'll, it'll all, it'll all come out just fine. All right, let's see. I'm still not used to the two of us being on at the same time. Are we on at the same time? Hmm, I'm reading y'all's comments. Okay, the box, where's the box? Where's the sample? Here it is. So this is a really pretty box. It's non-traditional Christmas colors and it could really fit anything in here, whatever you want. It could be a gift box, it could be a treat box and it's coming apart already. There we go, fix that. And I have cut these stars out and uh, made just kind of, um, it looks almost like a shaker, but it's not a shaker, but it's layered. Lots of different layering here, okay? All right, let's make the box first and I'm gonna need my Simply Score right here and remember that these measurements are right here on the pdf pinkbuckaroo.com under the last photo okay okay breathe erica breathe you need a piece of knight of navy that is eight and a half by nine and three fourths basically what we're doing is scoring it at two and a fourth on all four sides okay two and a fourth two and a fourth two and a fourth two and a fourth now what in the world? Look like I've been spackling a house or something. Now, for the lid, we're gonna use a shim, and you wanna get about five or six post-it notes, and this only works when you're turning your paper four ways, okay? Um, it creates just a tiny bit of difference, making that lid just a tiny bit bigger, okay? Um, oh, Robin, you're so sweet, thank you. I don't know if you heard me say at the beginning, I was nervous, to use is I couldn't like get myself to, because I love it so much, I wanted the projects to be so beautiful. Um, I was worried that I wouldn't um, be able to make them as beautiful as I wanted them to be. Anyway, thank you, Robin. So the shim makes the lid just like a hair bigger, okay? It makes it just a little bit bigger so it'll go down on that box. So you put just five or six little post-it notes here on the left side. This is a piece of Whisper White that is seven and a fourth by six, and we're gonna score it at one inch on all four sides, okay? There we go. Now, and you do that with the part you want to be bigger. So that would be the lid. Unless, no, yeah, yeah, it would be the lid every time. All right, so let's do this. You know what, actually, let's do the box bottom first. Look, I have my bone folder here. All right. There we go, burnish all those lines. Then I like to just cut all the corners off. Okay. Like that. Then you're going to cut up on the two score lines on opposite sides. You can either do it on the short sides or the long sides. Just make sure you're doing it on two opposite sides. Okay, then of course you wanna use a really strong adhesive. I am gonna just pull out my fast fuse. I'm almost to the bottom of my fast fuse hoarding. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> my mom just not I'm doing Facebook live mom <laughs> scared me to death okay <laughs> she just knocked on the window <laughs> from my front porch 
She's dropping something off. Oh my gosh, she scared me so bad. <laughs> She's gonna be in trouble when I get off. She is gonna get it. Okay, Whew. like I wasn't already frazzled enough. All right, adhesive on those corners. Now fold up um, those, you guys, I don't know if I can finish. Fold those up, okay, breathe. Fold those in, fold those up. I am a mess. All right, there we go, box bottom. There you go. <laughs> okay, now the lid, the exact same way, exact same way. Um, and I've already done all that, so let's cut those corners off. You know, I've been doing Facebook Live for a few years now, and in the beginning I was so nervous, and I thought everything had to be super perfect, that that would have sent me over the edge. I would not have been able to keep going. But nowadays, you guys are so good, you're so sweet, and whatever happens, you just go with it. So I appreciate it. Those of you, if you're watching and you've never done a Facebook Live, but you want to do a Facebook Live, just remember that it's live. So it's not going to be perfect, and it's best to be yourself. That's what I have learned, and I've learned that from watching other people, because those are the ones I like to watch the most. Okay, now, again, fold those in like that. I'm glad you guys are laughing. I mean, I am like, I cannot believe it. And she just continued to sit there and talk to me through the window. <laughs> I'm like, I'm on Facebook Live. Mom, she watches me every week. How does she not know? And there we go. And you kind of have to wiggle it a little bit, but it's a nice tight fit, okay? And if it feels like it's not going to fit, just pinch that in just a tad and it will go. Okay? And there's your box. And we're done. No, just kidding. Not done. Okay. If you want to keep it simple, tie a bow and add a tag. But you know me, I can't make anything simple. So now let's do all the other things we're going to do. First, we're going to make a rectangle frame. This is the, <laughs> thanks, Cheryl. Debbie, I am nice to my mom. She's going to get it, though. She's in trouble. She, <laughs> my dad took one of my, you know, cups, my glasses from the kitchen home to her house. And she was so worried about it. I'm like, Mom, I never even realized it was gone. So that's what she was dropping off. <laughs> okay, largest stitched rectangle. This is the second largest. So, you know, one fits in between. And we're going to make a frame. So run that through. And then you've got a, um, the stitched rectangle. Save that for another project. The stitched rectangles are persnickety. That's what I'm going to call them. I love them to death. They are probably my top three favorite dies that we have, but they're not as easy to cut out as the others. So you have to just be patient with them and run it through twice. Um, my downline Gloria told me a great tip. Uh, when you run these through, and if you're having trouble going straight through your die cut machine, turn it like this, all right? Turn it diagonal and have it go through like diagonal. Does that make sense? So not like this, but turn it diagonal. And it does make a big difference. Anyway, just a little tip. Okay, now I have already pre-cut these. And, oh my gosh, I have these tiny, where's my take your pick tool? I even cut out these right here so we'll put those there and then i have this piece let's attach this piece first okay those of you who know last week i went and got my nails done it was like a big like drama for me because i don't didn't want to get my nails done and the girl told me oh three three to four weeks on the dip okay well guess what this one's already broken has been for several days and i think she needs to fix it. But that means I just have to go back and sit there and I don't want to, you guys. And I can't I can't pick things up with them. They're annoying me. Those of you that have like fake nails, do you have that problem like picking things up? Ugh, it's driving me crazy. All right, this intimate. Um <laughs> Cheryl, she secretly want to be on Facebook Live. Yeah, I think so. She she's going to she's going to have some you know what to pay. All right, this is from, <laughs> this is from same set. So many stars. Hoping all your Christmas wishes come true. This piece is an inch by four and a half. Is that right? 
That sounds like it's too big, but we'll see. All right. And one thing to know, Night of Navy ink smears really easily on Whisper White. Um, it doesn't dry quite as quickly as, um, well, I don't think as others, at least to me, that is the right measurement. Hmm. Okay. So now let's see, let's take, um, you know what, we're just gonna, we're gonna attach it flat. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of adhesive there and a little bit of here like that because we're gonna put dimensionals on it in the back in a minute. And we're gonna attach that like that, like that, okay? So we've made that. Now let's flip it over and layer it up. You really, Trisha, you've heard lots of people had trouble with the dip. Well. I didn't know what the heck I was doing when I went in there and the little cute little girl who works the front counter was like, oh yeah, you want that. I was like, okay, because you know, in my presentation, I didn't want my nails to look terrible. Um, well, now I know. And I don't want to soak them off already. I, mean, I want to get my $45 worth. Night of Navy smears for you, yeah. It does. Oh, and I'm just sliding it across the table. I should have hit it with a heat tool. It looks like it's okay. All right, now we put some dimensionals doo, 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 all over and we're going to put this right here on our box, okay? There, it's already pretty. Now, the one thing that I was gonna do different this time, I wasn't thinking, um, is I was gonna do this with Wink of Stella. But then I remembered what I did, and I'm trying to look, yeah, what I did, because remember I designed these way like two weeks ago, because I knew I wouldn't have time this week. What I did before I cut all the stars out was I spritzed the cardstock itself with shimmer, with shimmer mist. And um, it's this morning in my distracted haze while my daughter's crying, begging me to take her to school, I cut them all out and then I remembered, oh wait, I was gonna do that, but whatever. Okay, so you could, you could just take your wing of cella, do, 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 whatever. But another thing that you could do is get a spritzer and I filled it up with alcohol um, and put some of that shimmer, the same, the frost white shimmer that we used a minute ago and I put it in here and it shook it around and then I'm just going to hopefully just spritz them. Okay, now I'm heavy handed and I just wanna keep spraying, spraying, spraying. But the alcohol will make it dry pretty quickly. Um, and then, so what I did before is I did that on my little piece before I die cut it through the big shot, before I ran it through the big shot, if that makes sense. I thought I had one more little tiny star. Oh well, I don't know, who knows. Now, we have these little beautifully, I guess I need to show you. Are you kidding me, is that the UPS guy? Could we have any more interruptions today? So I used this right here to cut that out, those, and then I used this tiny little baby right here to cut out the tiny little babies. And then I used, not this one, I believe it was, was it this one? No, that's not it. It was like, maybe it was, maybe it was this one. No, I don't think that's right. Well, maybe it is, that one, the second, the second baby. Okay, to cut those out. Now, let's add these, and I can't remember, did I, how many, yep, I did, of course I did. How could I second guess myself? Dimensionals, come on. Are you new here, Erica? You always use dimensionals. So little tiny um, mini dimensional, like that. I'm just waiting for my mom to jump on and say, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. Maybe she wasn't going home. Robin, you're picking out them right now. Oh, I know, oh my gosh, it's all I wanna do is pick them off. But I know that that is not good for your nails. So I was gonna try to soak them off. That was wrong. I need to put this in the center right here. I keep thinking I need to hurry, but really Addie's already here. I don't have to worry about getting her today. My kids are off all next week. Do you guys have school next week? But grandma says she's gonna come get them. They're gonna have what she calls camp jamma. They're gonna paint. They were picking out their paint um, supplies that they needed last night. And I was like, okay, good. Of course, I'm gonna have the flu next week. So <laughs> it'll be good. All right, now I'm gonna kind of put this so below 
this one and above this one. So I kind of want it to go in and out of that frame. You know, parts of it are behind, parts of it are in front, kind of vary it up. Did I say which star this was? I think it's the solid one, I believe, is this one right here. Yeah, that one. All right. Oh, Marilyn, good. I'm glad you're having fun. I'm glad one of us is. <laughs> oh, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I do have fun with you guys. This is the highlight of my week. All right, there we go. Now, um, we're going to need to go back to our mini dimensionals for these little blue stars. And they're already dry, you guys. As much as I spread them, they're already dry. And they've just got a little bit of shimmer. Debbie, they only have two weeks off there. You know, that's what it used to be. Two weeks off Thursday and Friday. But now they have the whole week. When I was a teacher, I loved it. But now, as a work from home mom, not so much. All right, one more Night of Navy Shimmer Star. And you can tint that, you know, where's that spritzer? You know, like if you wanted it to be blue, add a blue reinker in there with it and play around with it and see. One word of caution with you guys with the alcohol, which I learned. Where do I want this one? Oh, yeah, right here. Mm, mm, I don't know. I feel like it's a little bit different. Um, one thing I learned is the alcohol percentage needs to be low. So I had a 90% alcohol, and, and don't ask me. I have no idea what those percentages mean. But the 90% with the shimmer paint clogged this immediately and would not work. Oh, we forgot those. So get right now I think I have I think it's like 56% or something and I've also used 70% I'm sure, sure some of you know too I'm sure you've played around with that um, just a word of caution if you're having problems and I just dripped that glue did you guys see my photos I was a super brave and used the fine tip glue pen on stage in my presentation and it behaved. He totally behaved. So we are not enemies right now. I'm pretty happy with that fine tip glue. Of course, right now it just dripped all over the table. All right. So I'm going to pick up these little babies with, oh, my take your pick tool, which is oozing out. Come on, stay. It's awesome because those absolutely could not pick up with my nails. All right. So then I'm just going to push that down like that. All right, last but not least, no ribbon yet. Are you guys freaking out? I haven't used a ribbon. What's wrong with me? We don't have any Knight of Navy ribbon. You can use your uh, re-inkers to dye your white ribbon if you're ever in a pinch and you need ribbon a certain color. You can always use your ink refill and alcohol and soak your ribbon. Okay. This was Holiday Rhinestones. I added a few blue ones and we're done. Gorgeous, right? I love these sentiments. Oh, holy night and hoping all your Christmas wishes come true. Those are pretty, pretty sentiments and um, a little bit different. What do you guys think? That's a pretty box. It's sophisticated, I think. It's not cutesy. It's sophisticated. Blue and white. I hope you like it. Thank you, Terry. I had fun at On Stage. Um, and Carla, I don't think it's gonna be on the demo site, but my downline did record it. Um, I, I don't know if I'm allowed to share it. I know Patty's super confident with my glue. I know, I gotta show it who's boss. <laughs> okay, you got, that's what you gotta do with a fine tip blue pen. You gotta show it who's boss. One more project, one more. And let's see, I don't know where the top to my hair it is. You're a 3D person for sure, Robin, me too. And even my downline Mike told me at on stage that he was never a 3D person until he started watching my videos and now he likes to make them. So anybody can be persuaded to come over to the 3D project side. All right, here we go, right here. Now, see right here, this is what happens when you hold your heat tool on your paper too long. Mm -hmm. I was going to edit it in the photo and I think I forgot. So, <laughs> oh well, it's still pretty. We can cover that like that. See, we'll just take that ribbon and do that. And you could even put a glue dot there and it would hold that, 
that been right there, although that's a little bit long. Okay, so again, we're gonna do Knight of Navy and white. This time we've got some silver mixed in. And let's see if my brain can remember the steps for this card. This one's going to be quite interesting. Oh, I'm gonna need to stamp that first. Do, 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 get this, blah, 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 okay. All right, so we're gonna make a window. The We're gonna cut a window here with a smaller die first. And then we're gonna take it away and cut a, around that opening, we're gonna cut the bigger window there on just the navy piece. And the reason why you do both at the same time like this, it's so that when you put them down, they're centered and everything lines up. So when you put, put it on your big shot, like this. Oh, I made you addicted, Carla. And Carla, I saw your email. I just have not gotten to it. I'm sorry. I've been swamped. I will, I promise. All right, so this is a piece of, let's look at my, did I put the measurements on here? Surely I did. Three and three fourths by five, whisper white. Then three and a half by, oh, four and two fourths. <laughs> I don't think that's right. Four and one fourth night of navy um, and I actually think those that may be a little bit I like to leave a little bit of a smaller border there so I think maybe that top one could come up an eighth of an inch in in its measurement all right so we're going to start let me make sure that's the smallest one all right so right there like that. We have both of them there, the navy and the white, okay? You should have seen me the day I was trying to make this project, trying to think, okay, wait a minute, where, which circle goes where? Sometimes, sometimes they just, my brain just doesn't fire right. All right, so there we go. So now we're gonna take this one away and we're gonna take, so this is that circle and now we just want the bigger circle. This is the next size up for the layering circles. And we're gonna make this one bigger. Okay, there we go. And look, throw that in your scrap bin too. That's a fun little circle. All right, now let's see how do they line up. So you're, yep, perfect. Your, your navy piece should be centered right there um, in the middle of the white piece and also lining up with your circle. So then you just lay those there like that. All right. Now we're gonna do, we're gonna emboss two different times. This is just a piece of Knight of Navy that's gonna go behind here like this. Okay, I didn't want, I guess, I mean, you could, you could do this part here but honestly, I was too chicken that I would mess it up. So I'm gonna do this little piece. So this is really an extra added piece you don't necessarily have to do. Let me grab that embossing buddy from over here. And, hi Darcy, welcome. Um, and I'm gonna rub right here with the embossing buddy. And you have to be a little bit careful with your embossing buddy and the darker cardstock because it will kind of leave that chalky residue behind. Um, I like it on black because it makes it kind of look like a chalkboard, but here we don't want that. All right, I'm gonna use my really messy, super disgusting craft stamp pad, okay? No idea why it's such a mess. And I'm going to stamp Season's Greetings right here. And I'm using a giant block because this is all I have left. Everything else is packed for tomorrow. And then what did I, you know what, I think, did I use white? I did. Well, we're gonna use shimmer white because that's more fun. All right, so sh whoa, whoa. Shimmer white and, hmm, where's my, where's that piece of scrap? Oh, well, let's see, can I get it back in? Mm, somewhat. All right, there we go. Oh. Look at that, darn it. Okay, well, just pretend like that didn't happen. Now, <laughs> I just smeared, there's white ink on my finger. We'll put the bow there. Now, I didn't get this stamp out, and I don't know why, so let me get this one. And I will grab this block right over here that we were using. This is just the, 
the little star sprinkly image, okay? And I'm going to just kind of go all over the place here, turning it, because you don't want it to just look like the same thing stamped over and over again. Okay. Mm. There we go. Now let's test it and see what that's gonna look like. Is that good? Oh yeah, that's good. All right, now the Shimmer White. This is a new embossing powder. Well, new to the annual catalog last June. I still consider all that new. All right, there we go. And now I've got a giant sparkly pile here. And there and there. And then the heat tool. Hi, Karen, how are you? Ooh, I bet it's cold in Iowa. All right, now we're gonna heat this up and you will see it. Thanks, Barbara, I appreciate it. I'm gonna heat this up until I see. You really should hold it kind of far and kind of like do this so you don't burn your cardstock, but I never do. I get it super close and I leave it right on there because I'm impatient. And you'll see, once it kind of solidifies and doesn't look so dull, you'll know that it's nice and set. This one's a little bit harder to tell than the others. Where's that other piece? Okay. And let's start right here. Maybe we'll see it. I'm gonna burn my paper. I think that's, there we go. I think that's how I burned the paper because this one's a little bit harder to tell when it's turned. You kind of just have to really compare it to the rest. It gets brighter when it's set. There we go, so pretty. All right, now let's turn that off. And let's see, do we want to, you know, I didn't do dimensionals last time for some weird reason, but I think we should do dimensionals here. So let's put some dimensionals around the circle. Not bad for weather, sun and shining with no wind. That is, that does sound like a nice day. We just had a cold front come through here. We've had more muggy weather, super muggy and gross. And a cold front came through this morning. Cooled things off nicely. Not cold, like upper 50s, which feels so good. All right, so there we've got that. Ta-da! Now, we have a Knight of Navy card base, and this is the Whisper White and Silver Metallic Edged Ribbon. So I'm just gonna tie a bow here on the side, like that. Okay. Well, I don't wanna mess it up, it looks good. And you can just manipulate these bows, you guys, by pulling on that, holding the center, pulling the little tails, messing around with the loops. Get that and that. We'll have this one come out this way, like that. Okay, and, oh, I was gonna try to be sneaky, but I can't. There we go. All right, so there's your bow. Hi, Lisa, and glad you made it. We're almost done, but you know, you can always come back and watch the recording. You'll have to come back and, and watch me get scared to death and act like a crazy person when my mother appeared at the window. It's very exciting. <laughs> She's gonna need to put in a giant order today just for that. She's gonna need to order cardstock and ink. All right, now I'm just gonna put more dimensionals on there and oh, we need to move this over a little bit. That was funny, Jennifer, I know it was funny. I can't be mad. Um, if you don't like tying a bow, guys, you could always just run this ribbon and do like a knot, like a little, you know, like a little knot. And then it doesn't have to be so big. And there, oh no, no, not done, not done. I forgot, I did add something else. That's what the poster looks like. But I couldn't just leave it. So I cut out the silver, um, where are the dies? The silver foil. And this is the smaller one. So here's that big one right here, and then here's that smaller one. All right, so then we're just gonna get a glue dot. 
And thanks for sharing. Sharing is being weird today. I was having trouble. Ha I was having trouble too. Were you guys having trouble? I couldn't figure out how to share. So you did watch party. Yeah, I was asking at the beginning. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, come on. Um, I was asking at the beginning. I don't really fully understand what a watch party is. I mean, I get that it's sharing, but what is what does that mean? Like you can watch with your friends and have a conversation on the side? I don't know. Okay, so I cut the little swoosh from vellum. I cut the star from foil and I just put that on the side for a little something extra. And one more thing that I forgot to pull out, the, just a rhinestone right in the center because you know, we need a rhinestone. Now we're done. Whew, we made it. We made it, yay. Okay, let's look at what we made today. They all coordinate because you know, I can't help myself. It all has to be matchy matchy. And then we made the watercolor card. Now, you guys, remember that sale ends tonight, midnight mountain time. Actually, I think it's 1150 mountain time. They always do like 10 minutes early. Don't wait to the last minute and then be mad because it's gone. Um, some of you do that when you're registering for my classes. Do it when you have plenty of time. Don't leave yourself in a bind because you waited to the last minute, okay? Stock up, get your card stock, get your ink. Those regals are great Christmas colors. Real red, cherry cobbler, garden green. Um, oh, what's the other one? Shaded spruce. And then there's eight awesome bundles you can choose from. And when your order gets to 50, you get a PDF of your choice from me, the November All-Star Tutorial, and your three make and takes for free, okay? So don't forget, get it in. Now, if you just want the make and takes, your order only has to be $35, okay? That hasn't changed. Okay, I think I covered it. Let's see, you're having issues. Yeah, you know, Debbie, I feel like Facebook updates itself. I don't ever see that it's updated. It's just different all of a sudden. I What I'm having trouble with is when I am on Facebook on my phone and maybe I switch over to go answer a text and I come back to Facebook, it's like it has to reboot all over again and I have to sit there for like 20 seconds for it to load. And then it's all the way at the top again. I, I have no idea. You know, if I left something, I was looking at it, I come back, it's gone. I'm all the way to the top. So I don't know why it's doing that. And I know a lot of people are having Facebook Live issues. So who knows? We are at their mercy. Thank you, Trisha and Patty. You are very, very sweet. Um, <laughs> I appreciate my cheerleaders. You guys are so good to me. Um, I don't think... Looks like a galaxy on your iPad, Jennifer. Yeah. It, it does, right? That this one right here. Um, I don't think I missed anything. Um, hopefully I did. You guys give me some patience over the next few days. If you've sent me an email or message or whatever, I'm, I'm quite overwhelmed with the flu and the retreat. So fingers crossed, prayers please, that I did not catch it today. And I will be back. Um, I will be working hopefully Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, but no live next week, okay? Um, next live will be the following week, which is December 6th, I think. All right. You guys have a wonderful week. Happy Thanksgiving. I hope you get some downtime, and um, I will talk to you in two weeks. Bye, guys. Thanks so much.